Title, Panthers claw their way to victory in nail biter -ot. Golden Knights still lead 2-1. to TL, DR, our hockey heroes, the Florida Panthers, bring life back into the Stanley Cup final by turning the tables in an adrenaline-charged overtime game against the Vegas Golden Knights. The Panthers managed to snatch a 3-2 win, edging closer in the series, which the Golden Knights still lead 2-1. Panthers' Carter Verhege scored the winning goal in Ott, and Matthew Kachuk's game-tying strike towards the end of the third period set the stage for a heart-stopping, popcorn-spilling extra innings showdown. Remember when we were kids, and we'd build suspenseful narratives out of our sports encounters, imagining a heroic comeback from the brink of defeat? Well, brace yourselves, sports fans, because the Florida Panthers just turned that childhood fantasy into reality. Thursday's nail-biter of a game was nothing short of a blockbuster movie script. The Panthers were down 2-1 to to the Golden Knights, staring at the likely 3-0 series deficit. But then, in the nick of time, Matthew Kachuk comes in with a game-tying goal that almost blew the roof off the stadium. But the plot thickens. With just 11.2 seconds remaining, Gustav Fessling was sent to the penalty box on a tripping charge. Suddenly, the Panthers are on thin ice, pun totally intended. But Florida fans, was it really a trip? Or was it some slick move that would make a figure skater blush? The replay left some questions. Open, eh? Well, controversy or not, Florida didn't just survive, they thrived. Carter Verhege fired in the ot winner, rejuvenating the Panthers and the entire arena. The Golden Knights' lead in the series now stands at a slightly less intimidating 2-1. So folks, can the Panthers keep this momentum going in Game 4? And speaking of stats, here's an interesting nugget. Out of the 55 teams previously trailing 2-1 at this stage in the Stanley Cup Final, 11 have actually managed to come back and win the trophy. Slim odds, yes. Impossible. Absolutely not. The Panthers' tail so far, including a comeback from a 3-1 deficit against Boston, proves they have a penchant for drama. Does this mean they are about to add another chapter to the book of epic comebacks? Among the Knights, Jonathan Marcheseau and Mark Stone each had power play goals. Marcheseau, in particular, seems to be on a roll, with his 13th goal in his last 13 playoff games. But all their effort wasn't enough to snatch a win this time around. The match had its fair share of celebrity spectators too. Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tagovailoa, NBA great Charles Barkley, and Dolphins legend Dan Marino were all present to witness this epic showdown. Makes you wonder, can you imagine the pressure of playing when sports legends are in the audience? How would you handle the spotlight? Now, the big question remains, will the Panthers ride this wave of momentum to even up the series, or will the Golden Knights regain their footing and extend their lead? Only time will tell. For now, let's buckle up for what's shaping up.